Right, this is an emergency YouTube broadcast. I just can't believe what I have watched. It's half past eight now. I've been up working on a script this morning. So I put uh, TV, whatever it is, the morning thing that Piers Morgan uh, used to be on. Median and, and that girl with the thing. And they're just interviewing this bird called Nietzsche something. Not Nietzsche, Nietzsche, N-I-C-H-I, blonde bird, right? Guess what? She is saying that the Disney film Snow White is out of order because the prince kisses Snow White to bring her out of her sleep that's been put on by the witch. Okay, kisses her without her consent. What? Uh, uh, the world has gone absolutely bonkers. So let's look at it logically. A prince comes along. There's this bird lying unconscious uh, with seven dwarfs. Hence, <laughs> exactly, in an house, okay? So he comes in, the prince, seven dwarfs say, oh, look, here's a proper, here he comes, look, it's a prince. Help, she's fell asleep, she's been poisoned at the funny apple, or whatever it is, got the thing. So he kisses her to give her life. Now, this dopey cow on here, or I've never heard anything like it in my life, uh, unless she was arguing with a proper grown-up, non-wokey woman to say it's Disney, it's a fairy story, it's a wonderful thing, he saves her life. So let's let's work it out. So you're going through the woods, okay, and you come to a nice cottage and you go in there and there's seven dwarfs in there and a bird's unconscious and these dwarfs don't know what the, f they, they ain't got a clue what to do. So you start to give resuscitation to that woman and the kiss of life to bring her back. Who's going to start this dopey blonde bird off going on again? I'm sick of wokeness, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> What other fairy stories are we gonna we gonna put up there? Cinderella. Well, you know what I did to Cinderella. It was the biggest selling pantomime uh, of all time because it was filthy. But fairy stories are all wonderful. All the pantomime stories are, are great stories. It's all about love that's forbidden love. Um, Aladdin, he falls in love with Princess Baldrupi Drawers or whatever her name is, doesn't he? Um, it's all about this forbidden Cinderella. She goes to the ball with the prince. Okay, so he says, you want to go to the ball? They start dancing. She runs off and leaves some of her garments there. Are we going to just not have fairy stories anymore to cheer up this absolutely stupid bird? Nishi, whatever your name is, get a life, you stupid person, you. Pfft, I've said it now. Oh, no, he hasn't.